Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to show you how to solve the palindrome linked list problem. It says, given a singly linked list, determine if it is a palindrome. As you know, a palindrome reads the same forwards as it is backward. So in example 1, the input is 1, 2, and the method returns false, because it is not the same forwards as it is backwards. 1, 2 is not the same as 2, 1. Example 2, the linked list is 1, 2, 2, 1 and the method returns true because it is the same forward as it is backward. 1, 2, 2, 1 is the same as 1, 2, 2, 1. So how can we solve this problem? There are several ways to solve this problem, but today I'm going to show you a straightforward way to solve it using a stack data structure. So we can use the two-pointer technique and the stack. So we can have the slow pointer and the fast pointer, and then as we as we go from left to right through the linked list, we push the value of the slow pointer to the stack. By the end of the iteration, the fast pointer is going to be at the end of the list, and the slow pointer will be at the middle. So all the values for the first half of the list will be in the stack. And then slow, I can move slow in, in the other half. So I'm going to pop the value at the top of the stack because it has the LIFO property last in first out. So this will be the first value that will be popped and slow will be here and I compare them. They are the same so this is fine. Then I move slow here and I pop. So the next value is 1, they are the same so it's good. This is a palindrome. If at any point I find out that the corresponding value at the top of the stack doesn't match the corresponding value at position slow in the other half of the list, then I know this is not a palindrome and I can immediately return false. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code and this solution is going to be big of n time, big of n space. So first I'm going to do a no validation. If head equals equals null or head dot next equals equals null. That means that the list is empty or there's only one node in the list then I return true because an empty list is a palindrome. If there's only one node, it is also a palindrome. Then I'm going to have a stack of integer s gets a value of new stack of integer. And I'm going to have, as I said, two pointers, slow and fast. So a pointer slow gets a value of head and also fast points to whatever the head is pointing to. And then I want to move slow one step at a time and fast two steps at a time. That way slow will be at the middle by the end of the iteration. So I want to say while fast is not equal to null and fast that next is not equal to null. So what that means is that this is going to handle the, the case when the list is actually um, even length and this is going to handle the case when the list has odd length. So I'm going to say s that push slow that value. So I'm going to push every value of the slow pointer. And then I'm going to say slow gets the value of slow that next. I'm going to move slow one step at a time and fast. I'm going to move fast two steps at a time. All right. So now the stack contains all the values of the first half of the list. And because it has the LIFO property last in first out, the last value that you put will be the first value that will be popped out. So now slow is here and I can compare this value to the top and then the other value to the top and check every iteration. So I need to handle a special case here. If the length of the list is odd, um, then there will be a node in the middle and I want to ignore that node. So I'm going to say if fast is not equal to null, that means that the length of the list is an odd number, is odd, then I want to say slow gets the value of slow that next. And that's going to allow me to ignore the middle node because the middle node doesn't matter. Um, I don't have to take care of it, so I ignore it. Now I'm going to say while slow is not equal to null, 
then I'm gonna compare if s dot pop is not equal to slow dot value, then I know this is not a palindrome, so I return false because the corresponding node on the top of the stack doesn't match the corresponding node um, on the other half. And every time I move slow by one, slow gets a value of slow that next. So by the end, slow will be at the end of the list. And if it was able to pass all the checks, then I know that this is a palindrome, so I return true. So I'm gonna run the code All right, it seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit a solution. Okay, so as you can see, this is working perfectly. It took a little bit because of the website. Uh, probably has a lot of load right now, but it's working perfectly. The time complexity is big O of n. The space complexity is also big O of n. So please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.